Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are continuing on with the tanker, as you guys can see right here. Uh, in the previous video we ended up adding all of these little pipe thingamabobbies, so that we can actually get fuel in and out of each of these tanks. Now, today we kind of have to test that, so um, that's something we'll do. We need a system of actually testing it as well, and as well as that, we need, um, we need some other things. Um, active stabilization side to side is probably a good one to have, uh, so I think we'll go ahead and use Uren, uh, Uren Winds, um, active stabilization again, I can't remember what it's called, uh, something like ZE or something. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use one of those, actually two of those, one in the front, one in the back, and we might end up with some active stabilization front to back as well, uh, so that we don't end up, you know, popping a wheelie like we are right now, um, but I don't really think this is much of a problem, so, um, yeah, let's see what we can do. Alright, so, uh, I have actually already copied his thingamabobby, so we've actually got one here. Uh, it will replace this battery, but I think if we put one in the front in the middle, like this, there we go, and we merge it to the floor, like so, uh, we actually need to merge the button as well, although that button won't be used. It'll automatically be on. Don't worry about that. Uh, right, we're also going to put one at the back if we can fit one. Uh, somewhere. I don't really know where it would fit, but um, somewhere at the back would be nice. Actually, maybe just here. Yeah. Alright, this could work. This could work. It might be too low, but uh, if we go ahead and we paste it and we merge it downwards. There we go. That'll be fine. It might be too high, but it'll be fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Alright, beautiful. Go ahead and attach it to the bottom. Awesome. And I think that's fine. Okay, so, with that being said, I think we want the active stabilization to automatically be on. So we're going to delete this, and we're going to replace it with a on signal. Uh, because reasons. Because reasons. A constant on signal right there. Go ahead and attach this straight to here. And we're going to do the same thing down here. Yes. Literally the exact same thing. So... A constant on signal is going to replace the battery, uh, or the button, sorry. And voila, there we go. Right, so, I don't know if this is enough weight or anything like that, but I think it will be. And I don't know whether this is enough slidey stuffs, but um, I think it will be as well. So, I don't know. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is we're going to add a tiny bit more. We're going to add a tiny bit more weight, uh, just because it seems like a good idea. So, go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to do a full on side piece, like so, and we're going to do another one down here, and another one up here. In fact, if this one is bigger than the other one, then it should be fine, right? It should be fine. Wait, the weight does go on the bottom. Alright, this is fine then. Okay, cool. So, it should move from side to side. I don't think this will block it if it goes all the way to this side. So, we'll leave it like it is, and let's see what it does. So we should weigh quite a lot in the front now because I've just added a ton of weight. Uh, but if we go inside here, which the battery isn't connected. None of the batteries are connected. <laughs> That's really annoying. So we need to connect this to um, here. Okay, that's fine. We need to also connect it to... I don't know whether that needs power. I'm assuming that it doesn't. Okay, we're going to go backwards with this one and attach it to here. Okay, cool. They're all attached together. And we're going to attach this to here and to here. All right, fantastic. Uh, we do also need another battery anyway. So we need another one of these. Um, somewhere like here. There we go, that's fine. Okay, so logic this to here. I'm not entirely sure whether, where our logic is. Um, boo, boo, boo. This one, B, it'll be this. All right, cool. So that's everything. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. Get it driving forwards. And we'll see what it's like against the wind. Okay, here we go. So, we are not up so much at the front anymore, but we are a lot further down at the back. Um, that is slowly coming out of the water. Okay, we are slowly rising. That's fine. Our speed is still similar to what it was. And if we turn the waves on... Turn the waves on... I think it's completely fine, right? Let's go ahead and go sideways into the waves. So, we'll have it side on. And we'll see if we, we're still... Oh, wow. Okay, that wave went straight over our deck. Oh, boy. Okay, the waves are going to go way over our deck. That's... That's... 
da 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 Look at it. They cover us. As long as the boat still keeps moving forwards, we'll be fine. But, oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe this is bad. Okay, so we are side on with these waves now, and it is driving completely fine. Um, I don't think waves are going to be a problem for this thing. At least when it's full. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like when it's empty. Alright, so this is it empty. Uh, it actually sits quite high. Okay, so we can jump on. There we go. Go ahead and get inside and go upstairs again. Here we go. Go forwards. Here we go. So this is it moving forwards with nothing inside of it. As you guys can see, it is quite high in the water this time. Uh, which is just fine. It is just fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn the waves on again. Yes. And we're going to see what it's like against the waves. When it's empty, this is completely empty except from the fuel tank, which has, to be fair, 100,000 liters in it, which is quite a lot. And we are listing quite heavily. In fact, very heavily. However, will it tip over? Uh, yes. Yes, it will. <laughs> um, I think, maybe? Is it going to tip? Is it going to fully tip over? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it smells like it. Is it gonna? Our weight at the back isn't massive. Our weight at the front isn't moving. Isn't really working. Oh, now it is. There we go. Okay, cool. And it hasn't flipped. So, I think it'll be completely fine when it's empty. However, uh, it is definitely a lot more stable when it's full. Okay, so there is a way that we can sort of fix this, uh, and the way is that we have some ballast tanks. Now, the ballast tanks will allow us to sort of fill up full of water um, when, we, when we've got no fuel on board. So what we would do is let's go ahead and build something along, I guess along the edge. Yeah, something like this. Um, ooh, yeah, maybe this isn't going to work. I don't know. Uh, what I want to do is sort of fill in these side pieces. Now, if these fill full of water, we might be all right. Um, and the way we could do it as well is we could have a big ballast tank at the front. Um, somewhat like this. Okay, so we do all of that. We do all of this. There we go. And we go, I guess, back there. Yeah, so we'll do that. There we go. We'll fill, like, a, put a roof on it. <laughs> Good. Uh, and we'll go all the way across the side. And hopefully, in the end, this will all work fine, maybe. So we go all the way down to the end. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then we go across the top, and we'll fill in all of this. Meow. There we go. Um, again, we've got a few problems with this. For example, this pump right here, bit of an issue. Uh, but if we go like... Oh, how am I going to do this? Um, oh. Actually, wait, no. If we just raise this pump up, this pump up, this pump up, then it'll be fine. So we'll do that, uh, and then we'll put some like proper pipes in. Yeah, this will be okay. Okay, so I've ended up putting all the pipes in. This is okay. This is fine. Uh, no, I haven't put any pipes in. What am I talking about? Um, I need to delete like this one. Hold on. We need to delete this one on every single one of them. Hopefully this is happening on both sides. If it's not, then it should be. Um, but right, so pipe. We need to go ahead and use an angled one to begin with, right there, and we can just do that, that's fine. Good. Uh, on this one, we need to have a pipe right here, do -do 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 -do. a straight pipe, just close that off, like so. We need another one back here as well, and we'll connect that, and we also need a straight pipe, if we can get one, one of these, in here. Yes! Alright, fantastic, that one's done, uh, this one needs doing. There we go, very good, and that's it. All right, cool. Uh, now we just merge this with this, this with this, and this with this, and same with all of these ones, this with this, there we go, this with this, this with this, beautiful. Um, and we also, if we can, uh, need a bit of a ballast tank back here too. So, if we can delete this, 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 and all of these, there we go, we can sort of bring it back into the engine room and cover all of this up, there we go. So. Our ballast tanks should, in theory, keep us a little bit more level. Now, they're not very big, but I'm assuming it'll work fine anyway. Um, so, we need pumps on that as well, uh, which means we need more pipes and all of that stuff. Oh, we need to do these pieces too. This is annoying. 
So delete this and this. We need a pipe, an angle pipe right here. We'll make it white, white angled pipe. There we go. Turn it around, point it this way. We need one pointing downwards too. There we go. Uh, we need to fix uh, these ones as well. So delete this and this. Have an angle piece come outwards and one go downwards. There we go. And that's it. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, we need pumps in here. And in fact, actually, just to test it out to begin with, um, we'll just put a thing in. Yeah, a spawner. Spawner. Here we go. Um, full of diesel at the minute, but that's okay. Doesn't matter what it's full of. They're all the same. Okay, so uh, we have a bit of an issue. We have a little bit of an issue. Uh, there's a hole somewhere. There's a hole somewhere in this whole system. Uh, there is a hole. I don't know where it is, but there is definitely a problem. Um, do, 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 do. Probably all the way at the end. Let's be fair. That is most likely. Oh no, it's here. Why? Why is what what? Why isn't it deleted these? That's confusing. Okay, well at least we found the problem. Uh we just need to attach these on the here. This is fine. Oh, I haven't actually built these yet. Why did I do that? Okay, so that goes there like so. We need to do the same thing on this one. If we possibly can. Come on, put it inside. There we go. Actually wait. Yep, there we go. Alright, there we go. Now, now it should be sealed, hopefully. And the whole thing isn't full of diesel this time, right? Correct. Alright, fantastic. Good. It sits a lot higher. That's nice. That's very lovely. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much we've actually got in the side pieces. In fact, we should know. We should, we should figure that out. Uh, we just need a dial. Yes, one of these. Um, and... I guess we should have a ballast tank reading up here anyway, so uh, one of these should be ballast. 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 There we go. One and two. Uh, ballast. <laughs> right. Right ballast. Left ballast. Okay, right. So one and two. I think it's this one and this one. Um, we need to connect those to a thingy my bobby, which is out here. One of these. So, one. Uh, oh, we don't actually have a thing yet. Hold on. We need a fluid meter. One of these. Yes. So, it needs to go down here. Uh, in the side. At the bottom. That doesn't really matter where, actually, to be fair. But one of those there. Go ahead and get the level. Connect it to one. Wait, connect it to two. I c wait, which one's which? <laughs> I don't know which one I put it on. Channel one is left ballast. Okay, which is this one. So, that's not the right thing, is it? Where am I? This thing. Here we go. Channel 1. Not channel 2. Channel 2 is right ballast. Which is this one. There we go. Right, that should have fixed things, right? Yes, indeed it has. Okay, so, then we connect uh, this to this one? Is it this one? Yep, indeed it is. Okay, and channel 2 is this one. Channel 2, good. Spawn it in. We'll see what numbers it says, and that'll be alright. Okay, so 40,000 litres on this side, 40,000 litres on that side. That's quite a lot of ballast. However, uh, when we're actually full of fuel, we have a lot more than, four, uh, what, 80,000? We have like 600,000, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, with 600,000, 40,000, or 80,000 isn't a lot. Um, so we might have to make that bigger. However, let's go ahead and check out how well it works. And if it works alright anyway, then we'll be fine. Alright, so, so far, it actually seems fine. Again, we are a little bit heavier at the back than the front, but, um, that's completely fine. We have a superstructure at the back, and we don't have one at the front, so it makes sense. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and turn sideways, so that we can then turn on the waves. And we'll see how well the waves do against us. Or we'll see how well it does against the waves, we should say. So, wind. There we go. Fantastic. And we should do slightly better. We're not really doing that much better, are we? <laughs> we, we are definitely not doing that much better. Um, these things at the back. Alright, that one's working fine. But that thing is now getting stuck. Oh, it is. Yeah, okay, right. So... The new ballast tanks have um, caused us a bit of an issue at the front. 
So we need to delete some things, and we need to sort this out. So, uh, we need to delete this a few times. There we go, there's one. Why? I almost deleted a chunk there, like a big chunk. Alright, delete all of this, delete all of this, and all of this, and these two, and all of this as well. There we go. We're going to go up instead. I feel like that is probably the best thing to do in this situation. So, uh, make sure we fill it. There we go. Fill it, fill it, fill it. Okay, fill it, and again, and again. Now, actually making the weight go up is not necessarily a good idea. Um, however, that is the only way we can go. So, in this situation, it's the only idea uh, that I have. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, we're just gonna have this bobbing around a bit, and it'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh, also, I should say, if you guys want to link to that thing, uh, then I, I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. Um, because it is quite useful. Probably more useful on smaller creations, in terms of, um, this exact build. Um, however, <laughs> on this big creation, if you just add more weight, it should work fine, maybe. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn sideways again, and then we're going to turn the wind on, and hopefully this time, uh, it'll all work fine. Hopefully. Alright, wind is on. We are now turning. Okay, good. We're turning very sideways in the wind, in the waves, uh, and everything actually appears to be better than it was. So that's good. Uh, is it working properly in the front? Yes, it is. It's fully on its side. And... We are sideways. All right, yeah. Okay, so we're actually pretty stable now. Awesome. Okay, so of course we do need a way of pumping in and out of these uh, ballast tanks when we start filling up. So uh, if we go ahead and... Actually, what I want to check first before we do anything else is if my boat can actually support the ballast tanks being full as well as all of these tanks being full as well. So... um. We might be fine. We might not be fine. Um, I'm expecting to be really low. Uh, but I'm not expecting the deck to be underwater, I don't think. S so with that being said, uh, let's check it. Here we go. Spawn it in. We're going to go ahead and make it not wavy. And we'll see where it sits. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, quite low. Quite low indeed. We've added an extra 80,000 liters, so I was sort of expecting this. Um, but it is not a big deal, because if we don't end up pumping out our tanks while we're doing this, we will be fine anyway. We'll be completely fine. But no, uh, we need to figure this out. So we need to actually pump in water from the outside. So we'll delete uh, the bottom one. That's a spawner. Actually, we'll keep the spawners in just in case we need them. Um, but we need somewhere that we can actually exit so um oh yeah we're gonna have to come like in here and we'll have a bunch of pumps so that we can pump in and out of said tank okay right fluid 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 there we go we'll go ahead and put it pointing down pointing down pointing down pointing down but come on pointing down there we go good we need pumps we're actually gonna have a bunch of big ones now we're going to have to have four, so one and two, and then the other way around. Okay, the other way around, three and... Okay, right, we've put it too close. Let's put it here, one, two, turn it around, three and four. Okay, good. So this one is in, in, and these ones are out. Okie dokie. So we now have to connect these two on this side up with these two. And these two on these two. And then try and get them all in here. If we can fit them all. <laughs> um, doesn't really matter how high up they are. So actually, to be fair, this is fine. We just need a fluid port. Da -da 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 -da, for every single one of these. So one, two, three, and four. And that's fine. I'm going to quickly connect all of these together. And we should be able to blow the ballast. Awesome. Okay, so, although it looks like a lot of a mess, or a big mess, it is. <laughs> it is a big mess. Um, however, uh, we got two inny pumps, these ones, and two outy pumps, which is these ones. Uh, that should allow us to fill and empty the ballast tanks uh, quite effectively. So, 
If we go ahead and we go up here, we need to add another panel. Uh, just to the side. Yeah, just, just like, I don't know, around here. Uh, where we go up a bit. There we go. We'll attach them together. Yep, bunch of cool things. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a thing here. Which is in, out, and the level. Okay, there we go. Good. So, the in, the out, the level. Awesome. Um, we just need to connect all of those together, which is fine. So, this dial is going to be the level uh, of this one. There we go. Actually, we should do it added together. So, let's go get an added piece. Do, 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 do. Where is it? There we go. One of these. <laughs> uh, go all the way to the back. Meow. Go ahead and put it, I don't know, on here. Doesn't really matter. Actually, it does. Uh, put it there. That's fine. Go ahead and connect this. No. This. No. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. To here. Okay, good. Uh, this one to here. And both of which to um, this thing. There we go. And this thing. We can do it from both sides. Doesn't really matter. That's fine. So, we'll have one be in. Uh, ballast. In. Ballast in. And ballast out. Ballast in, ballast out. Good. So, the in is the two inner ones. This one and this one. As well as this one and this one. Good. And the out, which is the other side. This one is the two outer ones. So, out, out. And out and out. Good. Uh, we then need to go ahead and do a similar thing over here. So, connect this to here. Okay, connect this to here. And same with this one. So, connect that to there. Connect this to uh, here. And that's everything. Okay, cool. So... Um, da, da, da. what's this one? In, okay. Ballast in, okay. Ballast out. All right, fine. So, we should now be able to pump things in and out. That is, hopefully, what we can do. Uh, so, with that being said, let's go ahead and give it a go. Uh, it needs power. They do need power. So, connect those to there. Oh, wow, there's a lot of things that need power up here. We might have some solar panels. That's a good idea. We can add solar panels to this thing. That would be really cool. Okay, connect that to there. That's those connected now, I think. Yes, it is. So, now if we spawn it in. Da, 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 da. I think they should spawn full. Yes. Okay, and then if we go out. Wait, 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 wait. The pumps don't have power. Yep. Sorry, I always forget something. <laughs> and to be fair, this is quite an important thing to be forgetting. But still, there you go. Connect that to there. Connect these ones as well. One, two, three, four. And spawn it in. All right, come on. This time we got this. Jump on the deck. Go ahead and say out. Oh, that's really slow. That's really slow. But at the same time, we'll be filling up really slowly as well. So it doesn't really matter. Really, does it? Does it matter? I don't think it does. Um, but that's good. All right, cool. Awesome. You know what? The other way we could do this... Oh, I've got an idea. I do have an idea. Right, so... Um, instead of pumping it straight out of the boat, if we pump it in into another section... Okay, if we can pump it into another section first, and then out of the boat, I think it'll be quicker. Maybe. At least from, from what I've been told. It might be quicker. So, if we do something like this, there we go. We want all of the bottom pipes, instead of being connected down there in this big mess, uh, we want them to be connected to a tank up here, which will then fire it through the floor, I think. Is that a good idea? Maybe. I don't know. In fact, actually, I'll leave it till next time so that you guys can tell me whether that's a good idea or a bad idea. Um, but hopefully, I've done enough today uh, to, to help you guys. I say to help you guys out. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully I've done enough today that you guys are okay with this video. Um, but if you not, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see. Uh, and hopefully I can do something better next time. I don't know. I think the ballast tanks was a good idea. So, um, yeah. I'm actually really happy with that. That's awesome. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.